go. Go! Oh my god! <laughs> we just took a major risk. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> So I have this really pronounced critical inner voice and I was thinking about it, maybe the reason why he's so masculine is because of the fact that he's such a harsh critic, you know? Because I think that women tend to be like soft, you know, when they criticize somebody and the person in my head, because everybody has a critical inner voice, you know, where they're like getting on to themselves over whatever they're doing wrong, you know. You know, if, if they have a lot of self-awareness, which I clearly do, I just want you all to see this beautiful sunset. Courtesy of the Lord. <laughs> oh my God. So gorgeous. But, yeah, so everybody has that. Everybody has a voice in their head that is, you know, watching them and critiquing them. And some people have more of that than others. I have like an overzealous amount of that, okay? I have enough self-awareness to overcompensate for my country's severe lack of it. Um, I think that that is the main source of like whatever masculinity I seem to exude, you know, with this 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 male counterpart in my in my brain that's like watching me and interacting with me all the time. Just to let you know what's, what's going on over here because I know that's confusing. It's confusing and it's kind of intimidating and it's weird and um, like people are like that's crazy you know that's, that's it's crazy that you have that strong relationship with yourself. I mean, I do, I do feel isolated most of the time. Maybe I choose to be, but I mean, have you seen the world? <laughs> why, why would you want anything to do with the world when the world is this stupid, you know? And then, you know, men want to be women. Like they want to chop their dicks off, whether they do that, you know, literally at, at the gender clinic or they do that you know, in this metaphorical sense where they're just constantly apologizing for being a man um, and then they're forsaking the very things that, that make them a man. And it's just sad. You know, I feel like my reaction to the culture has just made the man in my head more and more. Like, brawny, paper towel, kind of, <laughs> like, <laughs> very, very critical, very critical of this universe that we live in. But I feel like we're right to be critical of it, you know? I mean, I know I'm not wrong about any of this stuff, it's just hard to hear because it's just depressing, you know? But I don't understand why people just accept it. They just accept the fact that, that people are, um, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it, but it's like, I'm not gonna just bow down and be like, like, yeah, it's totally fine. Like, that's, that's normal, you know? Wanting to cut your genitals off, you know, that's totally normal. You know, more people should do that. Like, even more than there already are doing that. They, there needs to be, like, for, for every, for every block, there needs to be at least five gender clinics, you know, so that more people can do this because it's very important that we all get unnecessary operations in order to deal with our unresolved daddy issues. <laughs>